If you are a Confluence or Smartsheets user, then this video is perfect for you. My good friends over at Resolution have sponsored this video and we're gonna be taking a look at their Smartsheet connector for Confluence plugin. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and don't forget to check out the links down below as you will be able to click on the link to start a free 30-day trial to their Smartsheets connector for Confluence. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. Before we jump into Confluence, let's talk about why you would even want to consider enabling this plugin. Reason number one, centralized information. Having information in two or more places is a disaster waiting to happen. With Resolutions plugin, you don't have to worry about having duplicated data. Your information is gonna be centralized in one place, either Confluence or Smartsheets, but the data doesn't need to be replicated. And so your teams can collaborate together, relying on the fact that you have only one source of truth, which is a really, really good thing to have. Reason number two, real-time updates. Depending on how you embed your Smartsheets with Confluence, and we're gonna go over the details in a little bit, you are able to actually create editable tables and connections to Smartsheet within Confluence. And so that means you could make edits in Confluence and have them reflect in Smartsheets and vice versa. This is really, really good because then you don't have to work off of stagnant or stale data. You're always gonna have the latest updates as they're happening, so you always have the most up-to-date, most recent information. Number three. Confluence is a great place to document knowledge, to write down and capture information. And Smartsheets is really good for project management and for dealing with day-to-day -day tasks. But you don't always have that context. You don't always have the appreciation for what that work is all about in Smartsheets. Thus, enter Confluence. With Confluence, you can create a page and then you can add a lot more context and a lot more information. You can integrate out to other tools like Jira. And so you're able to have this big page that is connected to Smartsheets, bringing in the data, live, real-time data, single source of truth data from Smartsheets into Confluence. And then within Confluence, you can add more information that is appropriate to a knowledge base tool like Confluence, but doesn't necessarily belong in a tool like Smartsheets. Now that we know a couple of different reasons why this plugin is such a good idea, let's go take a look at how we actually use it. So within Confluence, there's actually two different ways to be able to do this. Let me show you first how to do this if you are in Smartsheets first and how to publish your Smartsheet table and be able to bring it into Confluence. So I'm gonna navigate over to Smartsheets and then I'm gonna pick a project. Once I have this project here, now I'm gonna click over here on the right-hand side and I'm gonna look for this publish button. I'm gonna click on that button. From here, you'll notice that I have a read-only HTML, I have read-only full, and I also have edit by anyone. So these are gonna be the different options that you have enabled, and I am going to do read-only full, but then we're gonna come back and do edit by anyone. But regardless of the method that you pick, you're gonna click on this get link, and that's gonna give you the link that you can use. So I'm gonna copy the link here, and I'm gonna hit Control C, I'm gonna close this out, and now inside of Confluence, I'm gonna come over here to edit this page and I'm gonna go to the macro page up here and I'm gonna type in smart. And once you have the plugin enabled, this is gonna show up in your Confluence. And all you need to do at this point is click paste here and this is gonna go and grab that smart sheet for you and it's gonna load up in here and that's it. All you gotta do is hit insert and that's it. Now we've created a read only full connection to Smartsheets that's going to allow you and your team to be able to read the data directly from Smartsheets. Now this particular method is useful when you are pulling in someone else's Smartsheet. So in other words, you're not the owner of that specific data set. And so this is critical because there's gonna be a different way, which I'm gonna show you in a second, where if you do own the data, maybe you wanna do it a little bit differently, but using the publish method is going to allow you to basically grab a link from anyone or somebody else on your team that does own that Smartsheets information can then give you that link so you can embed in your Confluence pages. So there's a little bit more flexibility there and you don't have to be logged in and you don't have to be the owner. Now, at the same time, we can also grab the edit, which is going to be basically the same type of style of link. We come back over here and we can edit this so that we can actually just drop in that particular um, published one 
the edit one. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to not only embed our Smartsheets data into Confluence, but now we can edit from within Confluence. And that way we keep that real-time collaboration happening. So no longer do my users have to switch context or go to a different tool. Within just whatever tool they're in, they're able to come in here and make changes. They can click on everything around the UI. So what you're able to do here is once you have the edit capability built in, then you're gonna able to add information here, hit enter, and then once you hit the save button up on the top left corner, and then I can go back to Smartsheets, I can simply hit refresh and watch what happens with my data. This information that's here is now automatically pushed back into Smartsheets. And of course, it's gonna go from Smartsheets back into Confluence. So those are the ways that you're able to create and edit and view information from within Confluence or Smartsheets using that published link. But that's not the only way that you can establish this connection. There's actually a second way that works really well, especially when you are the owner of these tables and these data sets. So let me show you what that looks like within Confluence. So I'm gonna close out of this window and I'm actually just going to get rid of this particular connection because I don't want to contaminate what we have here. I'm gonna do the slash Smartsheet this time just to pull out the macro again. And you'll notice that I am logged in, but in your particular case, you just wanna log in. And so once you log in, you just wanna come back into here, click the login button. This is gonna prompt you to connect and accept your Smartsheet connection with Confluence. And so click allow there. And now you're gonna be logged in. You can click continue here. And now that you're logged in, you're gonna be able to pick from the Smartsheets galleries that are available to you. I'm gonna bring in my task tracker. And now you get to pick, is it a read only? Smartsheet table, which is very similar to what we were using earlier where we had the read only full link, or is it the edit, which is the second example that we covered a little bit earlier where we're gonna embed the sheet, but we're gonna be able to edit. Or there's also a third method. Now this third method is really an interesting method. And so this integral table read only is a very interesting connection. I really like this one and I do wanna point out a couple of things. One, in order to do the read only Smartsheet table or the edit Smartsheet table, you do need to have a business account with Smartsheets. And I'm hoping and I'm guessing that most of you will have that type of account. But if you're on the free or not necessarily the business one, then this read only integral table is gonna be the only option that you have. And this might not be a bad idea. Now the value and the beauty of this, you'll notice that when I click on this read only, I am connecting with Smartsheets and I'm pulling in the entire UI of Smartsheets into Confluence. But with this read only integral table, you'll notice that I lose a lot of the Smartsheet UI. And the reason that is, is because we're actually just bringing in some HTML data so that at the very least, our teams can get the information from Smartsheets. Now there's no integrations, there's no two-way handshake, and there's definitely not the actual raw table coming in from Smartsheets, but you do get filtering, ordering, and search capabilities. And so if I hit save here and insert this particular page, and once I hit update over here, then I am able to again filter, I'm able to order, and I'm able to search for the information that is in Smartsheet, and thus again, allowing me to have a centralized place for my information without again having to duplicate data. So this is a really good option again if you're not in that business plan, but you are still leveraging Confluence and Smartsheets. Now, if you are in the business plan, I would recommend you go with one of the first two options, whether you have read only or edit, depending on again that use case that you have. But this is a really good third option in case you just don't even want somebody to go to Smartsheets and you just wanna be pulling in that table information and display in this method. So this method is gonna allow you to like click on these little arrows so you can sort by them, you can search for different things. So if I put initiation, it'll go and find that initiation item, right? So this is a really cool different method of doing this. So there's a final way that I wanna show you on how to integrate Smartsheets with Confluence. So rather than depending on the macro, all you need to do is go grab one of those URLs that we grabbed earlier in the video and just paste it in here. And when you paste it in, this plugin is automatically gonna go and grab the data. And so now we have this embedded Smartsheets with Confluence. So this is a really, really cool plugin. Again, that is going to just really make the barrier of communication that much lower. Your team's gonna be able to leverage any and all information already inside of Smartsheets and just be able to add information, be able to add context within the world and the bounds of what Confluence was designed for. So if your team's using both tools or if you're considering using Smartsheets but you're afraid of duplicating your data, 
this is going to be a plugin you're really, really going to want to check out because it's going to make your team's communication that much better and it's going to make everybody's life that much easier. One last thing that I want to show you is that we do have a Smartsheet Gallery under Apps over here. And when you click on that, you're going to be able to see every single Smartsheet that is available to you. Now you can click on them from here, view them, or you can also click on the Confluence link and it's going to take you to the specific Confluence page that has the Smartsheet embedded. Now this gallery is a really cool view because you don't have to go hunting for all your smart sheets and figure out where they're at. You can just simply see them all at a glance in the gallery or click into each one individually. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to check out the link down below. Start your free 30 day trial. Give them a review on what you think about this plugin. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to drop a like if you found value out of this video. I'll see you in the next one. So